Hey, this is Pete Hink. We're back here out at Fort Pierce Inlet with Ryan Brushwood and a team of biologists from Sea and Shoreline. We're out here to check on the seagrass and see how it's doing. Now, the seagrass was planted back here, oh, roughly about a little over four months ago. And it was in the very early stages of growing. Growing season's coming up in the next few months, and really, I think by then we're going to see some really good results on what is going on here in the water. Right now, they're still starting to sprout. Things are looking good. There's a few traps that they put in a shallow area, and it looks like we're going to have to move those out to deeper water. As you can see, so this this has been in there for about three or four months. You see the oh, root hairs? Roots, yeah. The root hairs are physically growing through the pellet, and that's what allows it to really become resilient, really grab onto the sediment. And then the blades, when we planted it, it was about probably about that tall. So it's grown a few inches since then. Oh. Um, and what, what you'll see is once, now that those roots are poking out, once this mother plant feels safe, feels established, it'll start shooting out runners. And this will grow to two shoots, to three shoots, to four shoots. And eventually it'll, it'll colonize into a small little seagrass patch. Ryan, he's been uh, checking out the seagrass here at Fort Pierce and just want to get a little update on what you see out there, buddy. Yeah, it's looking looking good so far. Um, you know, saw a lot of plants still alive. Saw very few empty pots as well, which is always a great sign. Uh, plants are starting to grow a little bit. Um, some of the units that were outside of the cages have shown um, one or two new shoots. You know, so they're about that big right now, <laughs> growing anywhere from an inch to four inches tall. Uh, inside the cages, we've seen so far. I've seen 100% survival. Everything I've looked at. Um, you know, the plants are pretty much filling out the pots. Um, saw a couple start to jump out into the sand around it, so that's good. Um, nothing too impressive yet. Only been in there a couple months and uh, a couple months away from the growing season. So, so far so good. Let me say guys, it does take time. You know, summertime is when you're really gonna see this, this place explode. So we'll be definitely be following this month to month and just watch the progress of what's going on here, over here in Fort Pierce. Seagrass is growing. It's not really noticeable. I mean, if you come out here, you want to check out what's going on, you're really not going to see a lot until probably like July. It should be really noticeable. But you have an opportunity if you come to Fort Pierce State Park. They do have kayak rentals here. It's a new company that's just started up here. It's Sunrise Cities Adventure. This is Kay. And uh, they'll rent you. You got, you got kayaks, we paddle have, boards? We uh, have kayaks, single kayaks, tandem kayaks, paddle boards. We have two hour, four hour, and eight hour rentals. Okay. It's a beautiful area. If you haven't been here to Fort Pierce State Park, very protected. You can paddle over to our seagrass area. And as soon as you launch your kayaks, you just go to the right, you'll, you'll see the cages out there. We just ask you, do not disturb the cages. And when that area, don't walk around because we also planted seagrass outside the cages also. So check it out. Especially when it comes summertime, you really should be able to see a big difference in the quality of water and also the amount of sea life you'll see there along with the seagrass. So this is Pete Hink. Till next time, Sunrise we'll see you. SunriseCityAdventures.com There you go. <laughs>